Hi friends, welcome back to To Each Their Own Home. I am Lisa and in today's video, we are going to be going over curriculum choices. I am a homeschooling mom of three kids. I have a eighth grader this year, a preschooler and a kindergartner. My oldest, who will be in eighth grade this year, I actually homeschooled him for the first time last year, which was his seventh grade year. But I started homeschooling when my now five and a half year old was two. I wanted to see like, is this something that I really can do? Am I interested in this? And I started with him and fell in love with it, saw him grow so fast and I was very impressed that I could do this. I didn't think it was something that I could truly do. And so just seeing the development of him, I kept going with it, grabbed actual curriculum, and we have been homeschooling ever since. So this is our fourth year of homeschooling. And I mean, in the beginning, I guess you can call it top schooling and then preschool and then, you know, to kindergarten. Initially, I was just working with him on getting him prepared for curriculum and sitting him down. And that's really how we spent the first year. So the first year was just getting him prepared, getting him ready, showing him basic colors and shapes and all of that and then we kind of moved into preschooling i have so much fun homeschooling my kids and it's not easy it's not an easy job at all but nothing worth it comes easy it is always going to take work and i continue to remind myself that all the time so what i'm going to do for you guys is show you the curriculum i will be using for all of my kids i am going to do that in separate videos so this video will be for my eighth grader so this is the video that i'm creating for my eighth grader the next video will come out will be for my preschooler and my kindergartner also we'll show you guys things later in future videos like morning baskets and how we store curriculum and all of that so make sure you are subscribed and you have your notification bell turned on so that you do not miss that video what i'm going to do is go ahead and lay all of the curriculum out and show you everything that we're gonna use for my eighth grader. And for reference, my eighth grader will be 14 in a, about a month. My preschooler and my kindergartner will be four, will be five and six in January. Remember to each their own home, to each their own way, to each their own home school. So what we do in our school may or may not work for you. And what you do in your homeschool may or may not work for me. It is all about each individual kid. I am here to provide tips, give you ideas, and to inspire you and motivate you and encourage you along the way. Now let's go ahead and get right on into this curriculum video. All right, so here we are. This is what we will be using for my eighth grader this year. There are other things that I want to add in, but we're not there yet. Um, this is what we're going to start with. So first of all, for Bible, we are going to be using Who is God? I got this on Amazon, but this is an Apologia collection. So this is his journaling notebook. So this has all of his work in there. And then this one is the actual book that he will be reading. So this is our foundation for him. Um, everything centers around Christ. And so that is his Bible curriculum that we will be using. And then we are starting our first history curriculum with the good and the beautiful. So this is what we will be using. So year one history from the good and the beautiful. It comes with this book as well as this book of history stories, which is beautiful. So we will be using this. And then I also have um, a lot of our own history books as well, because I feel like it is important to add in even more African-American history into the mix. So I do have um, tons of African-American history books as well. So when we need to add those in, if I feel like it's missing something, we will absolutely add that in. So this is what we're going to be using for history. It comes with a game as well. So we do have a game to be played with this history as well. For science, we're going to do unit studies throughout the entire year, I believe. I thought about using time for learning, but I decided to do unit studies because this is how my child enjoy science the most 
He is not completely into science. It's not one of his favorite subjects. So I thought to make it interesting, we will just do unit studies. So this is the space science from the good and the beautiful. And this is what we'll be using. I will actually be filming for you guys, me setting this up so you can see because it, it comes in, it comes in a pack and you have to open it up and like do some laminating, but I will do that. So you guys can see how simple that is to set up for English. Um, this is what we used last year, last year for level seven, but we did not finish it because we started it in January. So we will continue this. We will continue language arts and lit language arts and literature level seven for the, from the good and the beautiful. And then once he's done with this, we will move into the level eight for, um, English and language arts from the good and the beautiful. It is a bit different from their other ones. So this one goes more into its grammar and writing, and then it starts to go into book studies. So, um, this is the book. And then this is like the, the, what they would use to study with alongside the book so it has their lessons and everything in there so this is what we will go to after we complete um we complete the level seven i also added in here fix it grammar as well because i feel like there is absolutely nothing wrong with correcting your grammar and just having refreshers every year. So this is just something, it's just something we're gonna do just randomly. I won't have specific days that will do it, but it only takes like 15 minutes to complete it. And it's very short, like you can see here, day one, that's all you would do. Day two, that's all you would do. So it's something that's super simple, but it's a refresher on grammar. And um, he does really well in English. He excels in that. So I wanna make sure that I am staying on top of that. We'll be using the level seven handwriting from the good and the beautiful we did not have this last year he does enjoy handwriting so i think he'll like this as well if i can recall this is the highest level that it goes to let me know in the comments if i am incorrect and it goes to level eight but i think this is the last one so this is what he will be using for handwriting practice um, every day so i've heard great things about the handwriting from the good and the beautiful so that is what he will be using here are a few other things that he will be doing so for math we will be using teaching textbooks for pe for physical education um, he will be doing a workout class at our gym he is old enough now to be able to take the course and we have a gym set up in the basement with weights and a bench and a treadmill, elliptical, all of that. So he will be working out in our gym and he will also be taking a class at the local YMCA for extra activities. So he will be doing track and cross country. He will also be taking cooking lessons. I found an online class that he took before in the summer and so we will continue with that. And then science is his least favorite subject. So I decided to try to add a little bit of fun in there. And so I signed him up for a subscription for Mel Science. We already have our first box in, and I also signed him up for KiwiCo, and we already have our first box in for KiwiCo. So he will get a box a month from each of these. So this is what he will be doing for extra, well, for math, PE. Um, this is like his extracurricular, and then, you know, just something additional to add in there to make it fun. And so that is it for my eighth grader. Stay tuned for the next video because I will be going over my preschool and my kindergartners curriculum in the next video, which will be live on Friday for you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys are enjoying these homeschooling videos and a glimpse inside of what our homeschool is looking like. I will be back to doing homeschooling vlogs and things like that. We start school August 2nd, so I am very excited. The countdown has began and my plan is to try to get the homeschool room tour up for you guys very soon. So if you are not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you do not miss a video so that you are notified anytime I upload new content. I'm trying to figure out what the best time is for you guys. It seems to be that you guys like videos when I upload them later in the evening. So I've started to do that. I did try the early in the morning, but it didn't seem like it was doing too well. So I kind of switched it to upload in the afternoon. So 
let me know in the comments down below what you guys enjoy the most if there is something else that you want to see about our homeschool please let me know i do have a list of things that i want to get filmed for you guys but until next time i hope you guys take care and have a beautiful day bye